Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to bring some skill here. In other words, you can't simply use brute force to tell yourself, I'm going to stay here and have, expect to have the mind stay. It's going to find ways of sneaking out. So bring some skill to what you're doing. What can you do to make the breath really comfortable? What can you do to make the breath interesting? How sensitive can you be to see when the mind is about to slip off? You're going to need these skills all the way through life, so practice them now. We're born into this world, and what do we have that we know for sure once we're born? Well, there's nothing for sure except from aging, illness, and death. And yet we put these things out of our minds. We don't prepare for them. And so when they come, we're usually at a loss. We hope the doctors can take care of us, and we hope scientists can delay aging. There are even people who think that maybe we can live forever. But that's not the case. The body is made to decay. The body is made to, to die eventually. And so we have to be prepared. This is what comes with birth. And so we have to do our best to make sure that the mind doesn't get upset by these things when it happens. When aging comes, when illness comes, when death comes, all kinds of things are going to come running through the mind. And you have to learn how not to suffer from them and how not to follow them. As I say, these are things we don't like to think about, but they're things we do have to think about. This is why we practice generosity, why we practice virtue, why we practice meditation, is to train the mind so it doesn't turn into its own enemy at that time. And some of the skills you're going to need are how to anticipate what the mind is about to do so you don't follow it down the wrong pathways. So this ability to keep the mind with the breath and the ability to talk to yourself as you're doing this, to give yourself encouragement, to give yourself a sense of hope that you don't have to suffer. These are all skills you're going to need, so practice them now while you've got the chance, while the mind is still clear, while the body is still relatively healthy. That way, when things begin to break down, you still have something really solid to hold on to inside. Developing these skills, that's how you give a blessing to yourself. There are people who get superstitious on their birthdays. They don't like to hear about aging, illness, and death. But this is part of birth. You can't avoid it. And the real blessing is learning how to develop the skills that you will need so that when the, the end of the contract comes, you'll be prepared. And you don't have to suffer. The mind will make the right decisions at that point. And that kind of blessing is a is the best blessing there is. May you develop these skills. May they hold you in good stead. So that regardless of what happens to the body, the mind doesn't have to suffer. The mind is intelligent enough, it's skilled enough. So it can depend on itself in all situations.